We're going to talk about something extremely boring. Just kidding. What is it? Let's talk about it next. Treasure Valley Dave here, and today I want to talk about the market. I know, I know, it's boring stuff, but you know, the market's really not boring right now. It's kind of, uh, well, there's a number of words we could use to describe it, and boring certainly isn't one of them. So before we get into that, I just want to remind you that if you're thinking about moving and Idaho might be one of those places you're checking out, please feel free to give me a call, text, shoot me an email, whatever it takes. Um, we're here to help you. Everybody here on the Treasure Valley Dave team, Stephen, Maureen, we've all made that relocation journey from someplace else and we purposely picked the Treasure Valley because it's such a great quality of life here. And uh, we could probably answer some of the questions you didn't even know you had questions to yet. So uh, also go ahead and share, like, and subscribe to this channel. And that really helps out um, the YouTube, YouTube algorithm and... Uh, it makes more people become aware of this information. And what is this information today? We're talking about the market. So we're going to kind of set the stage for what's going on in the market, looking at the commercial world and the retail world. And what I found there, this is from Boise Dev. So recently was the annual Builder Owners and Managers Association Conference here in Boise. And the theme of this conference was the Boise Valley has seen a lot of growth and everyone is bracing for more growth. So I guess that's quite a theme, huh? It's been a wild ride with industrial space in recent years with demand far outstripping the supply. We're seeing the same kind of a theme in the residential market as well. Um, if you, it's not only uh, the growth that we've had, but the trajectory of the growth, this guy said. Investors see us as a long-term good play meaning it's not so much a bubble, but we're in it for the long haul. Well, he said they're frustrated with regulation in states like California or Washington, and they're looking to the Treasure Valley. While they're keeping their offices in the coastal states, they're moving other operations here to Idaho. Read jobs, of course. Um, back to the retail food type of a part of this discussion. Retailers have had their foot on the gas. They're not going to stop. Even with issues of labor, it's not going to slow down. So that's your, your retail outlets and your, your food and things like that. The Valley's increasing traffic. Yes, that's true. Though nothing like the issues faced in Seattle or California is changing the calculation for retailers. And what that means is that people aren't as freewheeling to go across the valley to you know go to some store or to some restaurant they're trying to stay home a little bit more or closer to home and that means that they need more restaurants closer to that home more retail stores closer to that home so that's kind of the point that they're getting at there is there a bubble again we're talking commercial retail world and uh, the panel at this uh, event they were talking about, is there a funnel, the funnel, huh, a bubble, a fast run up that will eventually pop, or is there a decline? Uh, they said that we're not in a bubble right now. People are looking at commercial real estate and multifamily and industrial as an inflation hedge. So, and we see that too with investors in the residential world too, buying a home to use as a rental and you know getting it now before inflation pushes the prices higher lock in that mortgage here and you know rent payments will go up a little bit over the years so that's kind of what they're doing but in the commercial world the demand is high and there are people who don't necessarily care about the metrics this guy said there's a huge land grab going on right now that's kind of true and we're seeing that um you know, in the news with some of the big builders as well. Wes Jost over at Zions Bank, and this guy should know, right? He said that it's not exactly a bubble. It's going to be who can afford those more expensive goods and those services and the housing. One of the things from a conservative standpoint, how much longer can rents go up or housing costs go up and people can afford that? 
something's going to have to change. Well, that kind of leads us into the next part of our discussion. Um, again, from Boise Dev, there's an article about Ada County. And, you know, um, the Treasure Valley here is made up of two counties, in essence. Ada County, which is over to the east with Boise, Meridian, Eagle, and Canyon County out to the west. And when I say west, I mean, we're not that far away. We're only like 10, 15 miles from downtown Boise to, say, downtown Nampa. But over here in the west in Canyon County, we have Nampa, Caldwell, Middleton. So just to give you a little background on that. So uh, if you're a homeowner in Ada County, your home is way more valuable than it was a year ago. Well, yeah, that's true. But that doesn't mean values are shooting up as fast as they were a year ago. And here at the Treasure Valley Dave team, we put together our, our monthly uh, market summary. And you're more than welcome to have a copy of this. Uh, I don't have it on my website yet, but shoot me an email. I'll be glad to send it back to you. And um, well, let's take a look what they're talking about here. Over here in Ada County, this is the Treasure Valley Dave Market Summary. We can see the blue line here is the price. And you can see that last, I don't know, springish, it had gone up and then it started to stabilize. It's um, not going up on this fast tra trajectory, but it is a little bit more even, slightly going up. So that's exactly what uh, that what this article is saying. It said we hit a peak um, last May of 2021. Not that things haven't continued to go up a little bit, but I'm going to say that this little peak right here must have been what they're talking about as far as the prices going up right there. Boise Regional Realtors said the number of people flocking to Boise due to the COVID-19 pandemic is causing the low supply, driving up prices, empowering fierce competition to outbid other buyers to search for a home in the Treasure Valley. Well, that's definitely true and we saw that. Well, gosh, if you look at this chart here, you can see uh, as the prices go up, you know, it's supply and demand, basic uh, economics, right? And right down here on the gold line, orange line yeah orange line um, this shows our inventory and our inventory is going down and then the prices were going up and then here about that May time frame well maybe a little bit before then April ish we actually started to get some more inventory but the demand was there and prices were going up but then I guess we had enough inventory here that it started to moderate our increase and now you can see our inventory since last fall, summer has just been going down. Home prices continue to be driven by insufficient supply. Well, and that's exactly what I'm showing you right here. Our inventory is just going down and down and down. Uh, this whole look here goes back to 2006. So you get a real comprehensive look at what it's been, what the market's been doing for quite a few years. So you can put things into context. And right now we are almost at a record low point. It looks to me like the record low was probably about January of 2021. And that's when everybody was panicking because of the, uh, the pandemic was still a new thing. And uh, supply chains were really messing with building houses. Um, the supply chains are pretty much even out now. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's a lot better than it was a year ago. So back to this article, it says that Ada County only has 0.3 months, three tenths of a month's worth of supply for existing homes and about one month for uh, new construction. They say a balanced market that doesn't favor buyers or sellers, we're definitely in a seller's market right now, is four to six months of supply. And for existing homes, we've got like what, nine days of supply. So it's definitely a seller's market. Um, Boise Regional Realtors President, uh, Becky Enrico Crum, she wrote in her press release that um, based on her experience the last few weeks, it seems that competition is starting to ramp up again. One thing is for sure, our market needs more inventory in order to stay more balanced. 
And um, you know who's been saying that? Me? You know who's been saying the exact opposite? Do you remember that guy? He's got another YouTube channel. He's not an agent. He's a, uh, I don't want to use the word scaremonger at all. But he's the guy that said the entire country's economy is going to absolutely collapse. And it's going to start right here in Boise with the housing market because he said we had too much inventory. Um, better watch for those chickens fly because this guy might end up with some egg on his face because we don't have inventory. So low inventory does lead to higher costs. Something else that leads to higher costs, there's another article, is um, soaring lumber prices add nearly $19,000 to the cost of a new home. The record high for lumber was May of last year. Doesn't that date sound familiar? That was the record high that we had for housing costs last year. So maybe once the lumber started to back off, builders started to back out on their prices a little bit. I mean, it's just a coincidence, huh? It gets me though that um, you see in the media, radios, local talk radio stations and things like that, it's always those dang Californians are driving up prices. Nobody ever says one that Lumber is three times more expensive than it was just two years ago. And they never say, too, that it's Idahoans that are putting those prices on their homes that they're selling to Californians. And nobody's making that Idahoan charge, you know, two, three, four times what it costs a couple years ago. So a couple of things I want to point out here is, so this is Ada County. And this is for January. And... The orange bar here is the national average, and the blue bar is the, um, the median price for homes in Ada County. And you can see that, at least for over a year now, the prices in Ada County have been quite a bit higher than the national average. I mean, probably by a magnitude of $125,000 to $150,000. So that's just what it is there. Um, and you can see over here within Ada County, there are different places that you can get higher prices and lower prices for, for homes. It looks like um, you got to the Boise Northwest, you could pay more, uh, Eagle, pay even more. You could drop down to CUNA and pay quite a bit less. So just some, some things to look at from this. But I also wanted to show you, so let's look at prices. And we talked about this already, but we went up to last spring-ish, late spring, and prices stopped their incredible trajectory going up and have kind of flattened out, which is good. So if you're going to buy a house, you don't have to like get on that uh, that trajectory that's going up and every day you wait it's going to cost you another couple thousand so it's a little bit more reasonable right now and our supply had gone up during this time that seems like it probably made this uh the prices even out a little bit and then the supply is just like falling through the floor but prices are still holding pretty steady but in my opinion, what I'm seeing and from that quote from the Boise Board of Realtors that, you know, we're kind of seeing that the market's going to catch a fire again. And I could see that inventory is not coming up and prices will start going up. Now, why do I say that inventory is not going to go up? Um, we're working with you know, several buyers and different builders. And they're, the builders just don't have that much inventory right now. And some of them are, uh, you know, you could reserve a lot, but they're not going to have the house done until, you know, nine months out. There's another builder that has a, a like a, a make me move kind of a program. And those houses won't be done for another year. So it's like, make me move, but make me rent someplace else for a year, a year or so. I wanted to show you this. This is from the Boise, uh, Boise Regional Realtors. And this is for Ada County again. And they have the home sales price, 
home sold. But this is kind of what I want to look at, and that is the inventory. It says it's 63.9 percent up year over year. So it's like you look at that number, and that what might be what some of these you know experts say on these other YouTube channels is like, oh my gosh, it's 63.9 percent increase in inventory. You know, the whole market's going to bust. Well, let's see what that really means in inventory. So that means inventory from now to last year, it's it was the, the very bottom, I mean, the record low amount of inventory, as you can see here on this orange line. So if we're up a little tiny bit, yeah, it looks like there's a big jump. But, but it's completely dishonest to say, oh my gosh, you know, we've got so much more inventory now because we really, really don't. We should probably, I mean, what's normal? Probably normal is back here where we have inventory way up here and our inventory is still way down here. So this is like, you've got a penny in your pocket and this is like, or this is like uh, maybe you got a penny and a half or two pennies. Well, let's just say two pennies because I'm a real estate agent, not real good with math. <laughs> um, so that's a hundred percent increase, right? And, but you only have two cents. And you know, what's two cents worth? I want to show you that a little bit more dramatically though. So over here in Canyon County, again, the Boise original realtors put this out. OMG, inventory is up 116.9% year over year. Okay, this is Canyon County. And yep, see the same thing over here. The uh, inventory was, I mean, at a historic low. But now we've got one penny here and two pennies in our pocket. Oh my gosh. But if you are one of those experts that are touting doom and gloom, it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much inventory. There's too much inventory. Prices are going to collapse and it's going to start the entire economy of the entire country to crash. So uh, be careful who you believe and what you listen to out there. Um, I also want to show you back here in Canyon County again. Here is the relationship of uh, the median prices in blue for Canyon County versus the national average in orange. And a year ago, they were almost the exact same within $5,000 difference of being the exact. Now it is a little bit different, but it's been pretty even over this past year. And um, you know, we've had inventory that went way up and then came back down in the middle of the year, like in this area. And we've had prices that have gone up and kind of stabilized. So even though we have less inventory, and inventory you can see over here in the, the blue bar, the light blue bar on the left, how it went up and then it's coming way back down. So really, uh, Canyon County is a great place to go if you're looking to get more bang for your buck, some more value, maybe you are on limited income and you can't go with that $600,000 house, but 400,000 would be a neighborhood that you'd be okay in, Canyon County might be just the place for you. And um, you can see in Canyon County, we have some really nice homes, anywhere from the you know high threes to the low fours. Um, here is uh, new construction. The median is 465. Existing homes coming in at um, 390 for the median price. So you still might be able to get a pretty decent home over here. And so that brings us back to what we were talking about before. Oh my gosh, it's like house prices in the Treasure Valley are so incredibly just astronomical. It's, it's an insane, it's a sin. It's like no one can live there. Let's all cut our wrists and go home. It's not that bad over here in Canyon County. It's a little bit higher than the national average, but you know, that's the national average. So there's going to be like half the other people are kind of like in the same boat as us. There's probably red states and the other half are probably blue states. And there's a lot of land they just can't even give away. So, uh, but here's another thing to kind of think of. Not only do you get to live in the Treasure Valley, pay just a little bit more than the national average, but you get the great quality of life here. Uh, some of those things are super low unemployment. It's like you could have 
a job and wages are going up because employers are fighting f- over you know employees because there's just not enough to go around. Um, we have the beautiful scenery. We have all the activities that you can do out of doors, you know, fishing, shooting, floating the river. I know there's some more in there I'm forgetting, but they're out there. And um, another part of the quality of life is this. And I didn't really think about this until recently, but I've had people from Arizona tell me that a lot of Californians are going to Arizona. And apparently they have places where prices are quite a bit cheaper. And it's the people that are moving into their neighborhoods at that cheaper price point from California are turning their area into California. They're bringing all their their crap with them, their gangy stuff, their you know their lifestyle where they don't honor and appreciate personal private property and you know just being by yourself and peace and quiet and being neighborly. Um, I've got some Arizona people interested in leaving Arizona to come up here because our quality of life is so much better. So if you want to save you know that fifty thousand dollars to get a a house that's at the national average, Arizona might just be the place for you. But if you're wanting a little bit better quality of life for just a little bit more money, Treasure Valley might be the place for you. Again, this is um, Canyon County. So we have 200% increase on days on market. It's like, oh my gosh, the market must just be coming to a grinding halt. Well, let's come down here and look at the orange line is days on market. And you can see down here that the houses were not on the market all that long, maybe like two weeks, something like that, maybe a little bit more. And now they've gone up 200%, right? So, but look, look what normal is. This is like when the pandemic started uh, back here and we're, and this is days on the market are what, 40, 50 days on the market would be like normal. And then the pandemic hit, everyone's holding their breath, the panic's going on. And then uh, the days on the market, panic's high. And now we're starting to level out a little bit. If we come back up here to this, we can see that inventory was starting to come back up. Prices were going up and then last late spring, they started to even out. So you can see the statistic, 200% increase in the days on the market. Don't get caught up in the hype. It's not what it seems. If you look back, take this uh, point right now, this 200% increase and look back, you know, it looks like it should be just about normal. And notice too that uh, back at least from here going to the past you can see the seasonal effect you know things close slow down during the the holiday season and they pick back up in the spring so that's what you see all these these up and downs all about but over here it went down and it stayed down because of all these other forces but now the forces are starting to stabilize a little bit what does the future hold well Let's talk about that in one second, but first I want to just remind you, if you're thinking about coming up here, give me a text, call, shoot me an email. We'll be glad to answer any questions to find out if maybe the Treasure Valley is the right place for you. And please go ahead and share, like, and subscribe. Uh, YouTube loves that when you do that, and that helps to get our videos out to more people so we can help more people. So what does the future hold for uh, the market here in the Treasure Valley? From what I'm seeing and also from what the uh, head of the Boise Realtors is seeing based upon the quote in that article is that things are starting to heat up. We have much less inventory and we don't see more inventory coming on from like the builders for several months. And it's, I'm not sure exactly why, but we're not seeing that. We're not seeing a existing homes come on the market well maybe we're seeing existing homes coming on the market in the normal traditional way that we would in the middle of winter and we're hoping that that improves in spring as it traditionally does so inventory is in the gold 
you can see traditionally, you know, we have all these ups and downs through the years and that we have uh, less inventory in the winter and then more inventory in the summer. So hopefully that's what we're going to see again this time. I just don't know if it's going to happen, but I do know we're not going to have immediately the number of new construction that we've had. And really the last year or so, new construction has been accounting for like a third of our sales. They've really been helping our market, you know, combat this low inventory, which gave us higher prices um, without as much new construction. I'm not sure what's going to happen. And with new construction, seemingly like it's taking longer and longer to get a new house on the market. I'm sure that's going to impact uh, some people as well. The bottom line, what does this mean to you? That if you're wanting to come to the Treasure Valley, let's not panic. Let's make a good plan. Let's be realistic about what we have here. Um, keep in mind that prices are probably going to be going up. I'm not seeing that they're going to go up in that really steep trajectory that they did the first part of last year. But I mean, they might. So, but I don't see a reason to panic. Just be prepared, be realistic. And um, let's, let's just move forward. If it's like you're just right there on the edge and you can't make it work. The Treasure Valley might not be the place for you, or you can move up here to Idaho and move out a little bit further. We've got homes in Parma, Payette, a mountain home, places like that. And um, those are all nice communities. They're a little bit further away from the Treasure Valley. Um, so if you have a job in the Treasure Valley, it might be more of a, a problem, but if you uh, are flexible, and believe me, across the entire state, we have very low unemployment. So a lot of things to consider. Uh, the future is not bleak. Certainly don't believe those doom and gloomers. And um, I guess that's our little market snapshot for this time. So uh, thank you so much. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Call me. We'll help you out. And until next time, this is Treasure Valley Dave. Looking forward to helping you get home.